always that I was going to get away. I was going to go back to the United States so my kids at least would be safe. Rosalind's children have been subjected to years of witnessing abuse, many of them suffering abuse themselves. And finally now, with the Lisa helping her and her working with the American Consulate and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, she gets eight of her nine children together and manages to cross the border back into the United States. People told me I was going to get across the border with my children. One of her children has chosen to not be part of the family and had some tendencies of abuse towards some of the other kids because of all the things that had been seen in the house. It's, it's hard to describe when you've been through so much trauma in your life, especially when the man who did this to you is not caught. You're always looking over your shoulder thinking that he's gonna show up. Rosalind had a lifetime of hell, and it is unbelievable to sit in front of her and have her share her story. I've been waiting my whole life for somebody to find, find me. From a little girl of 12 all the way up to her adult life, being subjected to captivity and torture and abuse, and yet she is so brave and so positive. She is someone who is now celebrating her freedom and looking at every day as this new opportunity for her and for her kids. Future looks bright. <laughs> I'm happy to be where I am today and I've dreamed about this moment since the day I was taken. It's remarkable to see really the the bravery that she exhibits. I had to do it for myself, for my children. I couldn't count anybody to do it for me.